the life trajectory of Mai actually resonates uh, the change of Hong Kong's politics and the erosion of freedom. In 2014, we still had the room for public protest. We still had certain political diversity. In 2016, we still could participate in political debate with the governments. There was a room for the political opposition to operate. But eventually, uh, we've come to um, the end of the political freedom and civil society and the political diversity of Hong Kong in the year 2020 after the big, massive 2019 protest and the introduction of the national security law. That kind of um, demise of civil society actually took place much earlier in mainland China. And the Chinese government just transplants that political control from mainland China into Hong Kong. 